Let us discuss the questions given in the assignment. So, these are the given structures. And the instruction is to provide the starting materials for the following target structures. Now, let us first get familiar with the functional groups present in each structure. This group is an ester. Take note, C double bond O, O connected to a carbon. This group is an amide. C double bond O, N connected to a carbon system carboxylic acids, and again, an amide. These two structures, the ester and the amide, are cyclic. For cyclic esters, you call them lactone, like this one. Alpha lactone. Take note, C, C double bond O, O, and connected to a carbon. Likewise. Okay, so ito yung ester group. Ester group, this is alpha lactone because this position is alpha. Okay. This position is beta. This position is gamma. So, this is the ester group. This position is alpha beta, gamma, delta, and so on. So this one is a delta lactone. Alpha, beta, um, gamma, and delta. So dito, delta lactone. In the same manner, sa cyclic amide this is amide group you also have terminologies such as alpha lactam take note this is amide group beta lactam gamma lactam and delta lactam To be able to answer the uh, question, we need to get familiar with the various reactions, reactions of carboxylic acids and derivatives. So this page comes from the book Morrison and Boyd. Okay, preparation of car carboxylic acid. Uh, carboxylic acids can come from primary alcohols. Okay, so this is the oxidizing agent, this is the alcohol, and the alcohol is converted to carboxylic acid. In the same manner, we have other examples, potassium permanganate and carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acids can also come from oxidation of alkyl benzene. So this is uh, benzene, and this is the R group connected to the benzene. Again, the oxidizing agent can be potassium permanganate or potassium dichromate. That alkyl group can be converted to COOH. So, kahit anong alkyl group, COOH ang bagsak niya. So, pwedeng methyl group, ethyl group, uh, COOH pa rin ang bagsak. Kunyari, ito is meth, uh, ethyl group. Ganito pa rin ang mangyayari sa kanya. So, any R group, COOH ang uh, ending niya if it is attached to uh, benzene. Okay. So, the use of green yard reagent. Ano ba ang formula ng Green Yard Reagent? RMGX. Where X is a halide. 
Okay, so the starting material is an alkyl halide with magnesium. You form the Green Yard reagent with uh, carbon dioxide. The carbon chain is increased. So, in base na R, madudugtungan pa siya ng carboxylate group. Kaya medyo hahaba yung carboxylic acid. Okay, so this example is uh, down below. Okay, you have okay, the, the position of the halide is replaced by carboxylate group. Okay, this is another example. So, reaction with green yard reagent. Ito, magiging alkyl halide and magnesium, uh, magnesium metal. You form the green yard reagent RMGX. And this position here will be uh, uh, converted to a COOH. Dito, mag-attach yung COOH. And the other procedure to uh, produce carboxylic acid is hydrolysis of nitrile. C triple bond N. C triple bond N can be uh, aliphatic or aromatic. With water, acid, or base, you have carboxylic acid. And the other product is ammonia. Ito yung mangyayari sa nitrogen, magiging ammonia. So, this is the example. Uh, okay, so this is the nitrile group. And it is converted to carboxylate. Likewise, you have the nitrile group converted to carboxylate. Okay, so if it is acidic, magiging COOH. Kapag basic, COO negative or carboxylate group. This set of reaction uh, comes from the book by Smith. Yung earlier presentation ay galing sa Morrison and Boyd. This one is um, copied from the page in Smith. Okay, so ganun pa rin. Okay, so this is about the functional derivatives, derivatives of carboxylic acid. Okay, so we have acid chloride, anhydride, amide, esters. Okay, take note, they all contain acyl group. Ito yung acyl group. Okay, take note, the acyl group, acyl group, acyl group, acyl group. They are called carboxylic acid derivatives. Yeah, this is a page, yung table of content from Morrison and Boyd, where, where uh, derivatives of carboxylic acid, meron yung isang chapter. Katula din ng Smith, isang chapter de yung derivatives of carboxylic acid. So you have again anhydride, amide, esters. This slide is about preparation of amides. This reaction, I took from this website, LibreText. Okay, so what we have here is an acyl halide. This is a halide group, C double band O, acyl halide. Reaction with amine will give you amide. Another example involves uh, an aromatic group, again, acyl, uh, aryl pala, aryl, uh, aromatic C double band O, C, L. Aryl halide with ammonia will give you an aromatic amide. Reactions of amides. This slide comes from Morrison and Boyd where we have hydrolysis of an amide will produce carboxylic acid. 
if carried out in acidic condition or if carried out in basic condition will give a carboxylate salt. Okay, so this is an example, benzamide with sulfuric acid and water. Water and acidic condition because you have sulfuric acid, you form benzoic acid. So this part here will be converted to COOH. This is reaction involving an aromatic amide. And this one below is a a reaction that involves aliphatic amide, okay, carried out in basic condition, water, and what you have here as product is sodium butyrate. The starting material is butyramide. This part here, after the reaction, will be converted to carboxylate salt. Okay, butyrate, sodium butyrate, since the base is sodium hydroxide. Okay, there are other reactions like conversion to imides and this one, Hoffman degradation. Ito hindi na muna natin i-discuss. Hoffman degradation of amide uh, will convert it to amine. This page is about acid and hydride. And this is about preparation of anhydride. Take note of the condition, high temperature and with aluminum phosphate as catalyst. Starting material is a carboxylic acid. The intermediate is a ketene which is a very reactive material. Ketene is an extremely reactive compound, which we have already encountered as a source of methylene. Okay, so this is ketene with another uh, molecule of acetic acid. You will form acetic anhydride. Okay, so this is an example. Dalawang carboxylate group to form an anhydride. Take note, what is needed is heat to form an anhydride. Uh, and water is removed. Okay, water HOH, HOH, that is H2O, to give water. And the ring will close when water is removed there is ring closure and you form this product called succinic anhydride and another is the talic anhydride the other product is water anhydride parang anhydrous okay. so the reverse of this if you have an anhydride and you react it with water what you will form is a dicarboxylic acid. You will generate the dicarboxylic acid. That is the reverse reaction. The ring size is crucial with adipic acid. This is adipic acid. For example, anhydride formation would produce a seven-membered ring and does not take place. Instead, carbon dioxide is lost and cyclopentanone, a ketone with a five-membered ring is formed. Now let us talk about reaction of acid and hydride. This page comes from Morrison and Boyd. Okay, so conversion into acid and acid derivatives. So conversion of acid, conversion into acid, conversion into amides, conversion into esters. 
And the other group of reaction is formation of ketone by Friedel Crafts acylation. Okay, so let us to, uh, take a look at the reaction in detail conversion into acids and acid derivatives. This one is conversion into acid by hydrolysis, meaning by addition of water, and you generate the two carboxylic acids. Okay, so this is the reverse of anhydride formation. This one is conversion into amides. Instead of water, if you have an anhydride with ammonia, you will have an amide and uh, an acid, uh, uh, carboxylate salt. This is succinic anhydride with ammonia. You have an amide and carboxylate salt. Amide and carboxylate. Okay, with acid, okay, this NH4 here will be replaced by H and you have carboxylic acid. Amide and carboxylic acid functional groups together in one molecule. And when your anhydride is reacted with an alcohol, you will form an ester and the other product is carboxylic acid. Okay, so in this case, the anhydride is talic anhydride with secondary butyl alcohol. This is the, okay, one group of the anhydride will become an ester. Ito yung ester at yung isa ay carboxylic acid. Okay, kung ang, ang anhydride ay uh, cyclic, pero kung hindi siya cyclic, separate yung ester at yung carboxylic acid. In this case, since cyclic siya, so isang grupo ng anhydride, di ba itong anhydride is composed of two carboxylic acids. Yung isang grupo ng anhydride will become an ester, ito ester, at yung isang grupo will become a carboxylic acid. The other group of reaction is formation of ketone. Kanina, yung mga reactions ay uh, formation of carboxylic acid derivatives. Ito naman, uh, kaiba ito kasi formation of ketones by Friedel Crafts acylation anhydride with uh, uh, aromatic group and take note of it this ALCL3 this is a Lewis acid this is the, the um, uh, required uh, reagent or catalyst in Friedel Crafts acylation, you will form a ketone and the other product is carboxylic acid. Okay, so in this case, your, your, um, dito sa example, your anhydride is acetic anhydride. This is your aromatic compound. ALCL3, dito mag-a-attach, dito mag-a-attach yung uh, acyl group at the other product is the uh, the other part of the carboxylic acid. Ito sa anhydride pa rin ito. Isang part ng, isang part ng anhydride magiging ketone at isang part eh, magiging carboxylic acid. Okay, so Dito, you have the benzene group. Saan siya mag... Okay, saan mag-a-attach yung acyl group? So, mag-a-attach siya sa benz, the other benzene and the other group 
will become a carboxylic acid. Sa ito, magkikiton uh, bond siya. C double bond O keton and this group will become COOH. So in this case, hindi hindi separate yung uh, keton at saka carboxylic acid kasi nasa ring system sila. Ito naman reaction with acyl reaction reaction of acid chlorides acid chlorides uh, conversion into acid and derivatives with water this is the aromatic uh, uh, group aryl halide with water you will convert this group to car carboxylic acid COOH so if this is aromatic if it is aliphatic, ganun pa rin. You, this group will become COOH. Conversion into amides. Acyl halide. If your reactant is ammonia or amine, you will have an amide. Okay, so this is an example the uh, product is a benzamide. Now, if your reactant is alcohol, acyl halide with alcohol will give you an ester. If this is your uh, aryl gro acyl, acyl group, rather, acyl group and your alcohol, then you have ethyl benzoate as the, as the ester product. Then formation of ketone, ito, Friedel-Craft acylation naman, ito mag, uh, etong grupo na to, acyl group, will attach to the aromatic group. Then you will have an aromatic ketone. This one is conversion of the acid halide, ito yung acid halide, into ketone with a longer carbon chain using a Grignard reagent. So this is the acid halide na uh, aliphatic, acid halide na aromatic with a Grignard reagent. You will form a ketone na longer group kasi yung R group from the Grignard reagent will uh, combine with the acyl group. Okay, so longer. Initially, ganito siya. And an R group will add to this position. Another R group will add to this position. Kaya hahaba. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the resulting ketone will have a longer carbon chain. Ito naman is reduction of acid halide into aldehyde. So this is the reducing agent. Take note, lithium aluminum hydride. You will transform this uh, acid halides into an aldehyde.